Hi, welcome to Penny's Crafty Creations. Thanks for joining me today and taking time out of your day to craft with me. Today I am making a Cricut cover. A friend asked me to make it. She likes the teal colors. So I am using two different fabrics that have um, the teal aqua color. I have this for one side of my cover and then this for the other. I'm going to do a reversible one. So there should not be any seams um, when I'm done. So the first thing I did was I measured out my Cricut. I have the Air Explorer 2. I did some rough measurements on it, sketched them out. So I'm going to do 23 inches lengthwise by six and a half by seven. That's what I'm hoping the outcome will be. I've never done one like this before. So I'm kind of winging it, but it kind of looks like a bag. So we're going to go with it. So I have three of the 23 by seven inches and I separated them because this is going to be my top. And then this one will be the bottom. I'm not the bottom, the sides, front, back. And then the side sides. I did seven by seven on my sides just to give it a little bit of extra room. So my plan is to sew this together. So what I'm going to do is my top first. So I'll take this as my top. Then I'm going to take my sides. I'm going to keep my post-it notes with my pieces so that I um, remember what goes where. So it's just like putting a box together, kind of, or a bag that you know nothing about. <laughs> so we're going to pin this together here. I'm going to grab my pins. So I have these a little bit longer. And I just realized like little pieces here and there. So the idea is to make a box. So I'm going to take my wrong sides and put together. I'm just going to stick a pin in it. So I can cut that excess there. I'm going to stick a pin in this side. And then trim away that little bit of excess I have here. It's hard cutting on a little bit of an angle for me, which is probably why I ended up with a little bit of extra there. So I'm going to pin here along this side here. And I'm going to go all the way down. I'm going to grab it at this end here and give that a nice little pin. I'm going to flip this out because I want to make sure I get the same piece on this side. So I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, lining it up. And putting those pins in so I know which side I'm sewing on. I'm going to actually turn it. So I'm going to do the sides first and then I'm going to come in and do the box sides. I mean the front and back. I don't know why I keep calling them sides. The front and back first and then I'll come in and do the sides. And you can add a pocket to your sides if you want to, um, if you're going to make this for yourself. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to create the cover because it's the first time I've ever made one. So I just want to create that cover. Turn this over, snip away that little bit of extra there. Okay, so I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. And all I'm 
I'm going to do is just run a single basic stitch down both sides and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got this, the front and back on all taken care of. Now I want to pin my sides, but before I do that, I just want to open this up a little bit. So I'm going to turn it towards me. And then I'm going to take my sides, and they are the 7x7. Seven seven. So it's going to be the center here. So I'm going to start on this edge here by pinning that in place. So it's in place like that. Then I'm going to go to this side and I'm going to pin that in place as well. Because I want these first. And then I have that little bit of an opening on the bottom there. So I'm going to open up the corners. And I'm just going to pin this in place here because I want to sew my sides first and then I'm going to have a little bit of an overhang when I get down there. So I'm going to sew all the way down here. So it'll be all the way down and I'm going to do that on both sides. And it helps to do the sides first when you're sewing like this. So the, the simple reason is, I'm not sides first, the front and backs first. <laughs> this one's totally going to get me. The front and backs first because you want to have your sides done after so that you can adjust for more space if you need to. So I'm going to pin it all together first and then sew it again. And I'm not sure if um, you're comfortable with me sewing while I am doing a video or not. If you prefer that I continue to do them the way I am, where I sew off camera, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, either way is fine with me. Um, just let me know what you prefer me to continue to do. And there goes my game. Right on cue. <laughs> Continuously does that in my videos for some reason. Okay, so my sides are all done. So. It's going to look like this and hopefully it works for my Cricut and these measurements work out. So I'm going to go ahead and sew them and I will come right back. Okay, so now that we have it all taken care of with the sewing part, I've got it all put together. We're just going to go and snip these corners away um, where the pieces connect. So you get more of a sharp edge when you're doing your turning. So I'm just going to snip those corners just away. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it together with the lining fabric. So my lining fabric is going to be a um, turnaround. So I'm going to do it so that it is double sided so that they can choose which side they'd like. Um, to have for their cover. So I'm going to repeat the steps that I just did here. Turn it around. So we have those nice sharp corners there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like I'm doing a bag for the next piece. I'm going to com complete the setup and then I'm going to go ahead and leave a piece open um, so that I can turn it 
around on the top here and I will come back and show you it all when it is finished. Okay, so I am done with the cover and this is one side of it. It works pretty good. It fits my Cricut really well. So I like the pattern. I'm going to keep it. The only thing I'm going to change is I'm not going to do double-sided. I, I like it, but I just think that I'm going to go with the one side for my pattern um, and when I make them. So I'm going to pause it here and I will come back and show you the other side. Okay, so this is what the other side looks like. And the reason I... I just don't like the the way they, they line up the colors. I'm a little nitpicky. So I think one-sided only and probably not plaid will be the next ones that I do. So as you can see, it fits over my um, Cricut Air Explorer 2. I don't have measurements for a maker because I don't have one. But that's it. That's my cover. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.